So, Eva, do you want to talk us through this story? <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It feels like I haven't picked up the camera for such a long time because I think the last time I filmed a video was for our birthday which was nearly two weeks ago. It is actually Friday morning so I'm going to do it Friday to Sunday and hopefully that will give me some time to get some content. So this morning I have the first kind of coffee morning, it's a virtual coffee morning with Freya's secondary school year 7 parents. It's on Zoom. I'm a little bit worried about it because I hate that sort of thing. It's bad enough meeting people face to face, but doing it over like a video call is always really awkward. And that's all I've got really to report at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to get the girls ready for school. weird school run we are known for always being early um, now they're doing like a staggered intake and stuff we're definitely not ever first we were there like on time walk through the gate as the time goes but as we got to the playground they were all being let in so I was like one of the last people just to be in the line which is not normal for us at all so that was a bit weird just got home a few days ago we had to take the car to the garage to have brake pads done hubby wasn't too impressed with the garage and we've had bad experiences with garages so and that car is his baby it's our, it's our mode of transport it's the only car we've got it's precious to us it's come back and hubby we have dash cam so he's gone through the dash cam and stuff he's not happy with a couple of the bits that he has paid for and doesn't think they've actually done if that makes sense then I think he's gonna pop back to the garage to go what the heck are you doing or what the heck have you done oh, I'm feeling really nervous about this call there's no need for me to feel nervous about this call but I do I just feel so on edge about it which is ridiculous I'm gonna go and have one of my home homemade oat cookies because I'm starving and actually I'm gonna go and sort out some washing for the washing machine because that desperately needs doing hello hello are you okay Oh, Millie, what's happened to you? You know, she looks so sad. Who is it? Oh. Who is it? She looks so sad. Who is it? Millie. The coffee went, or well, coffee morning, I didn't actually have anything. <laughs> Virtual chat on Zoom went really, really well. There was about 13 of us. But it's really hard and it always makes you feel like you're interrupting people because you obviously don't know when someone is about to speak. I actually enjoyed it. It came out of the dining room and I think of home alone, Hi, hubby was in and he came in and interrupted the call for like a second. Next week I'm doing a Zoom call for my mother-in-law's uh, WI, Women's Institute institute i'm doing like a presentation for them which i'm very nervous about it's not something that i normally do i'm basically discussing my blogging journey so i'm literally delving into the past um, and i've spent the entire afternoon well the entire day really um, doing this presentation i'm not finished i'm hoping that i'm over halfway done i'm a bit sad that i've got to stop and go on the school run so eva do you want to talk us through this story oh. yes. so daddy was mighty i went some What's that, what's that between daddy's legs? <laughs> Could we not have drawn daddy with clothes on? Did your back hurt? It always hurts. This is daddy, that's daddy. This is daddy, that's daddy. I need a chiropractor. Mother wrapped me paper, I was passing by. Ready? So you're a tough guy, like you're really rough. Good morning everybody, it is now Saturday morning, it is nearly 9 o'clock, I'm in my PJs in bed, I'm on the bed, I'm not in bed, I've just spent about an hour probably on FaceTime with my mum and a couple of days ago their dog Millie had her operation to stop her having puppies so she was spayed or neutered depending on which way you want to call it she is a cavapoo so she's half cavalier king charles spaniel and also half poodle the poodle poodles are kind of known for being a little bit um 
hypochondriac, is that the word? So if they like step on a stone and it's like a bit uncomfortable, they'll scream their head off. And the poodle in her is her recovery at the moment. She is like a little princess. I think I filmed a slight clip yesterday. Um, she's literally just been laying on the thing. She's absolutely fine. My mum is a veterinary nurse, um, so she's very experienced in knowing whether she's actually poorly or just kind of faking it. But she's definitely milking her recovery and wandering around really slowly and delicately, bless her. She does look really sad though, bless her. And to be honest, I'm a bit sad about her having the operation. I really hoped mum had spoke about for like about a year about the possibility of them breeding for her from her at least once and I was so excited because I knew I would have been able to persuade hubby even he said he would have taken one of the puppies sadly she's had her operation so there'll be no Millie pups today is pancake day in this household and we always get really excited about that or well, Eva wants to do some crafting so we're having like a girly morning before hubby then gets back around probably lunchtime or just after lunchtime so I want to um, make sure I am actually spending some girly time and obviously pancakes take a long time Monkey brains here having a pancake with a ripe pad. Oh no, don't run away! boy today we've got another sleepy boy here Are you sleepy too want some help do you want to use that one to push it off mm -hmm. oh. a tiny bit more but this is on 94 104 and you needed 100 well done that's it yeah yeah, yeah. Bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Go on then, you poke it all together. <laughs> Whenever we do baking, this little monkey here eats loads of the the dough, and I'm like, stop! You have none left to actually cook. She just constantly eats it. <laughs> but yet, yeah, doesn't eat normal food. Tiny bit of drama this evening. Jake the cat is limping on his front right leg. I've checked his leg or his paw for anything stuck in it. I can't see anything, can't see any cuts, can't even feel any lumps or anything or any breakages. I'm gonna try and keep him in tonight but I do worry because we haven't got any litter tray so I might just leave the cat flap open. I don't think he's gonna go far because he's in quite a bit of pain. He's literally limping and walking on three legs. See how he goes tonight and tomorrow try and take him to vets on Monday, but yeah, I hate it when they're like this. It could cost a lot of money, especially if it's a breakage. It's this leggy, isn't it? Mm. You're growling at me, weren't you? Mm. You're a good boy. <laughs> Bright and early, we've come to the boot fair today. Hopefully get some bargains, usually teddy bears, let's be honest. Where's Elsa gone? We are back from the boot sale. It is not even nine o'clock yet. It's quarter two. We are going to try and find a movie on the compu computer, on the telly. Fantastic and we're going to do some porridge for the kiddies and me. Hubby's out again today. It's girly day again. I really wanted to have pancakes, but the girls weren't interested in pancakes. So we're having porridge and cereal and being boring. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
and Blake's just watching. Ava, he's pulling your bum Little Jakey is resting up there, resting his poorly leg, aren't you, bub? Don't you say no, no. Freya and I are now working kind of together, to be honest, to do her ho online homework. She has a lot of homework. We kind of need to try and keep on top of it. Otherwise, I think, obviously, next week she'll get more. But the only problem is that I've got is that it's, when she gets a question wrong, she can then re-go and put the right answer, like, until she gets it right. And I don't really like the idea of it showing 100 marks because I, I worry that the teacher then wouldn't see that she's struggling on some of the things. So I'm trying to see if we can leave those questions blank and hopefully submit it anyway so the teacher can see. She's not happy with me doing that, but I think it's going to be best for her all round. But she's doing quite well at the moment. 16 divided by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5. I went upstairs to finish off the Women's Institute um, presentation that I was doing. So that's all done now, I think. I've just kind of sent it over to my mother-in-law mother, mother -in -law to just check over, check it's actually what they want. Can you imagine if it wasn't the amount of time I've put into it? I come downstairs to a massive mess created by Eva and Elsa. Freya is currently just chatting to her friends, more than happy, on her phone and her iPad. Cat is limping a little bit still. He's on it more than he was yesterday. Um, but he is limping a little bit still. But look at the mess that the girls have just made. Look at that. So it's his front right paw, so this one the other side. So he's putting weight on it, which he wasn't doing yesterday, which is good. I've just picked him up and popped him on his favourite spot, so he's not jumping around too much. You're not a happy boy, are you? Hey? You're not a happy boy, are you? Eva and Elsa are making so much noise today, like a ridiculous amount. They're just jumping around on the sofas and throwing things at each other. And I keep saying to them, girls, just stop, go and out, put some clothes on because they're literally running around in their underwear for one. I said, go outside. Can you hear them? I just can't hear myself think. Like my ears feel like they're bursting. Managed to rein them in a little bit. So we're all doing an activity now. Still noisy, but we're doing an activity. I'm doing fantastic boosts. There's a weird one. Where did you get that, Eva? Weird one. Uh, from the boot cell. From the boot cell. I like it. Don't die. Quiet room. And I'm copying it. But... Right, it's right in quiet room on our board over there. It is important to have quiet time. Yeah, I went on to What are you up to? Lego. Lego. You've been working on this since your birthday last year and it's nearly your birthday this year. I haven't filmed this afternoon. I don't really know why. We bathed the girls and Freya had her youth ignite with the church on Zoom, which we arrived to a little bit late because I was both bathing the girls and then I suddenly had a notification come up on my phone. I definitely need to like set an alarm or something that goes off every Sunday because I keep forgetting. I have. You've just set an alarm for yourself, have I, you? Or for... I had the calendar thing and I had 30 minutes before alarm, 15 minutes before alarm. Mm, okay, well, I might set an alarm on my phone anyway like a proper alarm um like i have for the bin day so basically yeah that's the end of the weekend vlog i hope you enjoyed this weekend i have kind of been on my own a little bit hubby's been out doing his hobby all weekend it's all right for some hey when you do like outdoor sports you can go and do that at the moment although i think it's probably changing soon so yeah i was stuck at home with the kiddies but we've actually had a really lo really lovely weekend lots of movies and crafts and baking so yeah, excited for the week ahead. I will see you all again in my next video and yeah, have a lovely week.